What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Karuchi Tran, very beautiful lady. They say she's an actress. Um, I guess she's an actress. I think more, uh, more than likely she's a socialite. She was on this TV series called Claws, web series called The Bay. But yeah, man, she's 35 and still looks very good. Was with Chris Brown. She dated Victor Cruz. And uh, yet yeah, we don't really see her any more. Not at all. So what is the situation here? Well, Karuchi Tran has gone viral because she wants to go on OnlyFans. She wants to sell feet pictures. Now, this is not uncommon. A lot of ladies are doing this. I guess that if you want to, you know, sell, sell feet, it's, it's okay. I don't, I'm not a feet kind of person. I mean, that's not really what I do, but you know, hey, if you want to sell your feet, I think you should be able to sell your, your 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 goddamn feet. It should be okay. You want to feed it up, go ahead on and feed it up. Okay, it's no problem. But now, I I really want to deal with the the whole feet thing because once she started doing it, people started getting mad. Like, why are you out here weaving and literally selling it up with your feet? Are you broke? So folks started calling her, you know, names. She's this. She's that. And she claps back by saying this, LOL at all of the comments regarding OnlyFans. I'm not going broke, just a smart play. Foot fetish is the number one fetish in the world. There's nothing sexual that will be on my page. It's literally my feet and the people are willing to pay, then what's the problem? So again, I don't have any really big thing to say about it but i think that this is the question here this is what people are going to to look at so why then karuchi if this is the truth this is where you're at why then would somebody that had your level of success why are you selling your feet? Because like you didn't need to do it before. So it appears that knowing the stigma that comes from only fans, like have you hit a career wall? Are you not getting any work? Because I don't think that anybody is, you know, when you look at Karuchi Tran, have, have we heard of anything about her right now? No. She was on the Eric Andre show recently, but she, you, you know, she's not really popping off. Now here's the other thing too. I believe that her lifestyle probably is very expensive and, and really not paying dividends. All right. Now you're having to come out here and dust it up. So you're dusting it up right now. You're out here doing this. And um, and what it looks like is you're thirsty for money because you didn't invest and you don't owe anything. And this is what happens to a lot of chicks or dudes, you know, in the entertainment industry, they don't go into anything else. They don't make those lateral moves. They don't invest in the business. They just looking for clout. They're just dusting it up all the time and you know they get older they don't think about like you know things are not going to happen in that way for them it's never going to be real for them all of that they never think about that they don't they they never feel like that day is coming you know and the opportunities that karuchi tran used to have or karuchi used to have they're not there no more mama there go that man again Okay, mama, there goes that man again. 
Where is that man at? That man is saying that Karuchi ass is probably broke. Weaving and sound up. Guess what, guys? You're going to see this a lot more. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but it's going to be a lot of ladies out here that just, in my honest opinion, they're not ready for what's coming down the block. They're not ready for what's coming down the pike. And so when you get the OnlyFans money, because you'll get some people to pay for your feet and all that, but still you haven't learned, boo. Like that's something that anybody can do. And you'll probably make a little bit of money up front, but you'll go and spend the money. You'll go and buy some weeds because you're in that kind of thing, right? Y you know, you're going to have some more sandals. You're going to have some weaves. You know, you're going to be out there dusting it up. Okay. All of that. And you'll probably broke again. You'll be 40. And then what else are you going to sell? 45. Again, it's not getting yourself ready for the opportunity to go to the next level. That's why 50 cent guys like that. They're always on to the next level. All the time. You know what I mean? Always on the next level. With Karuchi trend, a lot of chicks, Lars of Pippen. A lot of these ladies are just chasing the bag and, and they're not trying to dif differentiate themselves. All the IG models get a BBL, sell feet pics, sell booty pics, sell Instagram pics, be some old, um, IG friends. You know, it's, it's, it's like, what is really making you different? And because nothing is really making you different, you're chasing the bag, you're gonna you're gonna probably become even more broke in the future. You're most likely gonna become even more poor. And I, and I hope guys uh, pay attention, okay? The thing is, Karuchi Tran is a very beautiful and it hasn't hit her yet that yo, there's gonna become a time, boo. You're not gonna be able to rely on your great looks. Okay, it's gonna come a time. You're not gonna be able to rely on the fact that you are beautiful. And you might stay very beautiful for the rest of your life, but what else do you bring to the industry? And they don't think about that. They don't think about that. Why is that never the case? Okay, why don't y'all think about the next time that's coming to all of that? So guys, we think you should watch OCD Jackson. Back at it again, another episode of Celebrity Junk. Put your fire to the bell, we're out. Oh,